And I was like, let's say I'm here, how do you start? You sleep, do you control? So I go with him. So if he tries to pull me, pull me a little bit. Or, yeah, so actually, why push me? You don't feel comfortable with me on top of you? All right, do you see how this is hard, isn't it? No, most of the time, what it is, I try to push and he tries to pull. Now I put my weight on him and let him push me. You understand the logic there? Okay, now when you, now you have a window. Get me, don't get me wrong, because even with all the stuff I'm going to show you later, he's still going to catch up with you. But here, the idea, when I'm here and he pushes, see, I take that lead. And here now, regroup your guard for a second. Regroup your guard. Hold me down again tight. Pull me. Pull me to you. Hold me tight. Hold me tight. Yes. Do you feel you can attack me right now? No. Not, not that easy, right? Mm -hmm. And therefore here, you just create tension. Shake a little bit. And once you're here, you don't pass. Okay, once you're here, you just kind of stay. You drop level, stay. Hold and let the guy push you again. You know, if he, yeah, if he tries to pull, I, I either will either stay or try to pass. But once I'm here and I feel there is a pushing, then you get up and control the guy. And here's the same thing. You put pressure and let the guy push again. Then when he pushes, that's when you pull that even further. Same thing again. I push. When he pushes, there I pass. What did I do that? I didn't try to pass. I pushed a little bit. When he pushed back, I improved. Then I pushed a little bit. When he pushed back, then I improved. In the end, how much pressure do you feel? That's what I want. You know what I'm saying? So the burden is on the guy. But here, what is the script that all we have? Okay? Now I'm going to do the opposite where everybody doesn't even have fun. Okay? So here, everybody push back. That's me. Up. Look, he already has the arm. He's attacking my arm. Keep going. Go for my arm bar or go for the back. Look, he got my back. Why in the world? I'm going to push away from the guy and give him all this. If you're gonna get my back, I'm gonna make sure that you have to fight for it. So I might as well be here. So if you're trying to get my back now, you're gonna have to push me first. Now, you gave me what? Hit control. Whether he go for my leg, I try to do him a block or something. I, I hold here and I stay, keep moving. I don't try to pass, I stay here. He has a good position, by the way. But I here, I want him to fight. Keep moving a little bit. Look, my elbow's out. Am I trying to pass? No. I'm kind of going hip on hip here. He tries to defend. I'm not, look at me, I'm not trying to pass. I want you to push me. What did you feel there? You know what I'm saying? So if I try to pass, I die. But if I look for what I, what I want is for him to push me, then I get to a good position. I put pressure in and push me again. Then eventually, life is good. So this smothering pass is the script. I was in, tiptoe on the guy. The guy pushes you, tiptoe up. One knee in, the other knee out, and here you wiggle both. Wiggle so your hands can be on the hip. Then, whether he has your arm or not, you control him. Here you stay here. Now he's he's kind of going for the omoplata position, which is fine. I keep my hip on the guy, I don't try to do anything. My hip is low. Eventually, what I want is I feel he pushes a little bit or whatever he tries to do, I get my elbow in. You see here? The way I counter this is not by trying to use my hip, I stay low when he pushes, go ahead. I crunch, I crunch and then my hip is out. Look, my elbow is in. Oh, and then from here, same thing, push a little bit. Yeah, I get here. And I stay here, push a little bit. Stay here. Push a little bit or whatever you want. Stay here. Hip on hip, look. I want hip on hip. Do you think I want to pass? It's good for me here. So I'm saying, I'll stay here all day. Now the tip toe, I mean the tip of my finger is going to push his foot. Once his foot goes, it's like magic. That's right. Thanks for being nice to me, by the way. <laughs> Give it up and sit down. breakfast that I had this morning, man. I'm getting happy here. <laughs> now, is this something that you expect somebody to do when they try to pass your arm? So how much effort do you have to spend just to keep it? Very so how about that? We tiptoe. When the guy pushes you back, you walk like this. Like this, and then this knee in, the other one out a little bit. We go, hit control. Once you have that, it's all she wrote. You can go for here, you can go for there. And when you grab the guy, push a little bit, the guy puts pressure, grab the leg. Push a little bit, 
Can I put pressure? You got the leg, you're gonna keep doing that same thing until you press. If you separate, open guard, connect oh, real quick. If I separate an open guard, I'll try to cut the corner as soon as I can. So I don't go for the guy, I go one foot out already. Over here, so when he tries to push, I'm here. Look, I'm trying to see, look, which corner I can, I can push there. Look, I cut a corner. You see that? He still has me, but here, I have hip on hip and I, I feel comfortable. So whenever you have open guard, you go with one knee and one elbow, try to block that leg, see if you go that way, then switch. You go with the other knee and eventually position yourself. You got it? Give it a try, last one. Won't you pick it up?